It's a big question and one we haven't yet addressed in On The Money. We've been going 30, 35 odd episodes, so I'm glad we can address it now. Joining me to talk about electric vehicles is car dealer and broadcaster Danny Kelly. We're also joined by Hugo Spowers, the founder of River Simple, a company which makes electric cars powered by hydrogen. Welcome to you, Hugo. And also, friend of the show, Helen Thomas, the CEO of Blonde Money, an all-round wise woman. Thank you to all of us for joining. Danny, why don't you give us your take first from the front line of car sales? Do your punters want electric vehicles yet? The short answer to that is no, but I need to qualify why that's such a, a negative. I, I sell used petrol and diesel cars, so I I, I wouldn't touch an electric car um, purely because you have to guarantee the product. And like any battery, just like the mobile phone that I'm speaking to you through this afternoon from the West Midlands, it has a finite amount of uh, talk time or lifespan if you like. So my punters don't talk to me about electric cars. There's no interest from my uh, garage's perspective in electric vehicles, nor hybrid vehicles, but that could be and purely because I don't sell them and I, I, I won't touch them with a barge pole. Uh, everyone I do speak to who, who has an electric vehicle, believe it or not, they actually love it, absolutely love it. Now, Tesla motorists will show off and say that it takes 40 minutes for a, a full charge. But but that's a Tesla model only. If you go and try and get something a lot more everyday, a lot more affordable for the everyday household budget, like a Renault Zoe, uh, they're, say, 26, 27,000 pounds. They've got a range of 240 odd miles, which is brilliant, so long as you don't want to go anywhere on a long journey. It's great if you're going to tootle around town. And then the problem you have, and, and I, I agree wholeheartedly with your opening monologue, Liam, I, I'm hoping that battery technology increases in leaps and bounds, and I'm hoping that charging time takes less, and I'm hoping that the average lifespan of batteries extends more than the 100-odd thousand miles at the moment. Because if you travel from my hometown of Liverpool, even though it's a Hailwood story, I'm talking to you from just outside of Coventry, you're going to have to really plan ahead as to where you're going to charge that little Renault Zoe. And it's not like a Tesla. It, it takes, I think, uh, it takes 90 minutes to charge, say, 30%. And that's not a rapid charge. So technology is out there. It needs to improve. But we mustn't all conflate the, the fabulous sort of technology that Tesla boasts quite understandably about with the more mainstream everyday technology. 